The Eastern Eagles went to Bozeman last year, and the football game turned into a track meet as the Eagles won the game 52-51. Well, this year might set up for exactly the same thing. Will Sherrod has more from Cheney as the Eagles get ready for another high-powered team. The first two weeks of the season were relentless for Eastern Washington, going on the road against potent offenses in Oregon and Northern Iowa. This week, they get to come back home on the red, but it doesn't get much easier as Montana State comes into town at the controls. Dakota Prukop, one of the best quarterbacks in all the FCS. Very familiar with him, and the more I watch film, I'm being even that much more familiar with him, and I don't like what I see. I mean, he's a, he's a player. He's, he's for real. He's got every he's got every tool you'd want in a QB and uh, you know in terms of athletically the ability to throw the ball the ability to run the ability to get his team in the right you know making good decisions I mean he is a premier quarterback not just in this league but nationally he's pretty decent you know um, he's a fast fast runner and uh, he could throw the ball pretty deep so we just got to make sure we have our contains on him and then just just go out there and play. Played against Vern. We played against uh, the quarterback from Northern Iowa, and uh, yeah, I think it really helps. You know, I think I think it really got us prepared for that game. I mean, for this game coming up, and uh, yeah, we should be able to handle the job. So we should see plenty of offense on Saturday, and expect a raucous crowd. Tickets already sold out for this one. Top 15 matchup: Montana State and Eastern Washington. We'll see if the Eags can get their first win of the season. Reporting in Cheney with Eastern Washington, I'm Will Sherritt, KXLY4 Sports. Thank you, Will. Great hair. The Eagles and the Bobcats should be a lot of fun. It has been the last few years. Our coverage starts at noon on 700 ESPN.